dear child of God, there is a pressing and heartfelt message that I need to share with you. The Almighty Lord from the heavens above has revealed to me a grave warning, one concerning your brother. Yes, your brother. God has shown me with undeniable clarity what your brother is about to do, and it will unfold in just the next three days. Time is of the essence. Now, I must be honest, I don't fully know how this divine warning will reach the right person. Last night, God didn't give me the identity of the individual whose brother is in danger. But I trust with every ounce of my being that the Lord will guide this message to exactly where it needs to go. I have unwavering faith that he will open the right doors and ensure this warning reaches the one it is meant for, just in time. If these words have reached your heart, then please stay with me for a few more moments. Don't leave yet. What I'm about to share could hold the key to understanding whether this message is about your brother. God gave me specific signs last night, and I'm about to reveal them to you now. Who knows, this could be a lifeline for your brother. So let us waste no more time and dive into the signs, for they may be exactly what you need to hear in this very moment. Stay with me, child of God, for this message might be meant for you. Like this and type 222 if you are ready to dive into the signs. Dear child of God, the very first sign that the divine Lord revealed to me was clear and heavy on my heart. He told me that the warning he is issuing is about a brother, a brother who is facing a tough situation in his life. As I received this sign, it became evident that the Lord was speaking about someone's brother who was struggling, perhaps with financial burdens or hardships in his career. Or maybe this difficulty is in his marriage, or if he's not married, in the relationship he's in. This struggle is weighing heavily on him, and God has revealed it for a reason. But there's more. God gave me another sign, one even more specific. He showed me that this brother is someone who shares an especially close bond with his sister. This sister is the one person who truly understands him better than anyone else in the family. The love they have for each other is deep, and even though they've grown up, the bond they had in childhood is still alive and strong today. She still worries about him, just like she always has, because she knows him in a way no one else does. It's her concern and care that stands out in this message from the Lord. These are the signs God revealed to me, and I feel the urgency in my spirit to share them with you. Now, we have arrived at the most important part, the warning itself. The time is near, and it's critical that you hear this message before it's too late. Are you ready, child of God? Let us move forward together. Stay with me as I share what God has revealed, for this could be the lifeline your brother desperately needs. Like this, and type, Amen, if you are ready to know what God has revealed. Dear child of God, the Lord has revealed to me a serious and urgent warning about your brother. He is facing immense struggles, and whatever he's working on right now, whether it's trying to fix his marriage, strengthen a relationship, improve his finances, or overcome some other challenge, 
it isn't going as he had hoped. The weight of his disappointment and frustration is heavy on his mind and heart. He feels like he's giving his all, but the results aren't showing, and it's wearing him down. God has shown me that in just three days, your brother is planning to quit. He's thinking about walking away from everything he's been working toward because it seems like nothing is changing. This is where the danger lies, child of God. He's about to make a huge mistake. What he doesn't realize is that on the fourth day, he's going to receive the breakthrough he's been praying for. The fruits of his labor are just around the corner, but if he gives up now, he will never see the blessings that are waiting for him. He's so close, yet his heart is heavy with doubt. The moment God gave me this message, I was reminded of the powerful story from the Bible about Elijah and the widow of Zarephath. Let me share with you how this story connects with your brother's situation, for it holds a message of hope and faith. During a time of severe famine, God sent Elijah to a widow who was preparing for the end. She had only a handful of flour and a small amount of oil, just enough to make one final meal for herself and her son before they expected to die of starvation. The widow had lost all hope and was ready to give up. But then, Elijah, carrying the word of God, asked her to trust him. He asked her to make him some bread first, promising that God would provide for her if she took this step of faith. It seemed impossible, but she listened to Elijah's words. Despite her despair, she acted in faith and made the bread. To her amazement, the flour and oil never ran out. God provided for her and her son throughout the famine, all because she didn't give up, even when the situation seemed completely hopeless. Her obedience and trust in God brought about a miracle that changed her life. Dear child of God, your brother's situation is much like that widow's. He is at the edge of despair, ready to give up on everything he's been working for. But God's message is clear. Don't give up. Just as the widow's faith brought her provision, your brother's perseverance will bring him the breakthrough he's been longing for. If he can just hold on for one more day, the blessings he's been waiting for will come. So please, deliver this message to him. Encourage him not to quit. His victory is nearer than he knows, and God is with him, just as he was with the widow. Dear child of God, this is the exact message the Lord wants to speak into your brother's life. Just as the widow was ready to give up before her blessing arrived, your brother is at that same crossroads, feeling the weight of defeat and contemplating giving up. But here's what he must understand. God's miracles often come when we endure through the hardest moments. He's so close to his breakthrough on the fourth day, everything he's been working for will come to fruition. He cannot let fear, doubt, or discouragement rob him of the blessings that are almost within his reach. Trust in God's perfect timing, for he is faithful and will not leave your brother in his time of need. And by delivering this message to you, God is also asking you to be his support, to encourage him when he feels weak, and to remind him that his breakthrough is coming. 
Don't let him quit now. Stand by him. Push him to keep going and remind him that the Lord has something incredible in store for him if he just holds on a little longer. God's promise is right around the corner. Like this and type 111 if you trust in God. It's as though divine forces are whispering to you. A powerful wave of positive momentum is upon you. You can feel it. The energy around you is shifting, lifting you higher. This is your time, your moment to step fully into your potential. Everything you've worked on within yourself, all the growth and inner transformation is now beginning to manifest in your outer world. You are not alone in this journey. Divine support is with you, amplifying everything you set your mind to. Right now, the words you speak have immense power. Whatever you speak into existence is supercharged with possibility. So choose your words wisely, aligning them with your biggest dreams and visions. Picture yourself already living the life you desire. Envision yourself as the person who has already achieved everything you seek. Align your thoughts, words, and actions with this vision and watch as the universe responds in kind. You are a creator, and this is your moment to shape your reality with purpose, love, and confidence. Step into your power. Everything you've been dreaming of is already within reach, beloved. There is no need to rush. All things are unfolding in perfect divine timing. I'm orchestrating miracles for you, but they will only come when you release the need to control and fully trust in the path I am creating for you. The stress, the worry, the doubts, those are simply signs that you are not resting in my care. Fear and anxiety are born from a lack of faith in me, your source. Let go. Rest your mind. Live as if everything you desire is already in your hands. Because it is. The moment you align your thoughts with this truth, the mountains you face will begin to move effortlessly. When you operate from a place of trust, peace, and belief, you become a magnet to your dreams. They are drawn to you because you are living in the frequency of having already received them. Trust this process. Your miracles are already on their way.